Hi everyone, um, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here with me today and I hope that you are enjoying what I'm going to show you today. Today I'm participating in Thrifty Thursday. The things I'm going to show you today I used to do for Second Hand Sunday but um, Nat Williams, the host of that, is going to do now do the Thrifty Thursday. So we're all going to join in with that. So the idea being that you show things you've got from secondhand places or, or on sale or whatever and then you take a video and you upload it to the YouTube channel, channel hashtag Thrifty Thursday and it's hosted by Shri of Turquoise Dreaming and I'll put her link below as well. So I got a couple of envelopes. This one is from a friend and e and even though I've opened the envelope I actually haven't I this is my second go at this video, so I actually have opened a little bit inside because um, I'm a new phone and I'm just learning how to use the um, camera. So she sent me some a letter and uh, some stamps and in the letter it says, Hi Kay, I hope you can make use of the enclosed stuff. The pages are from some very old bank books I of mine that I was throwing out dating back to 1990s or even earlier. I also decided I need to sort out all the stamps I have from envelopes and pass them on to a charity that collects and sells them to raise money. I thought perhaps you could use the bank book pages and the stamps in your junk journals or your collage challenges. Hope I haven't just added more useless junk to your house. No, and love Heather. So thank you very much Heather. I really appreciate you doing this for me. It's so nice. So some bank book pages. That's nice. Oh yes, that's good. Oh, they're really good. Thank you, Heather. It's a really great ephemera there. And some little stamps in here. I wonder why they're in a separate little bag. Is it because they're a bit different from the other ones? These look like... Oh, I see. These are from overseas. These ones are overseas stamps. Oh, the American one. I like that one. Yeah, they're all from the United States, Hong Kong, United States... Lovely in England. All right, thank you, Heather. And these ones are from Australian Stamps because they've got flat. They're lovely. Lovely. Agricultural one. Fruit. That's nice. Sturt Desert Pea, which is the flower, national flower for Australia, for South Australia. Crocodiles. Animals. Scouts. Lovely. They're lovely. That's Adelaide Oval. That's lovely. Garden. Places here I don't even know. Oh, I like that one. That's lovely. Looks really old, old worldy. That's um, Victorian. Oh, a bug. Great. On the echidna. Map. That's another bug. Birds. They're really lovely, Heather. I'm not going to go through them all because you might not want to. Because I've got a few dish, things to share today. Oh, look at all those beautiful flowers. The wattle is the national flower for Australia. It's a kangaroo paw. And some brumbies, wolves of oh, some of the stories of the, two, the man from Snowy River and your Woods and Matilda, which is a song for Australia. They're lovely, Victor Harbour, yep. Yeah. They're lovely, lovely stamps. Mulga Bill's Bicycle Poem, I think. Was that a Banjo Patterson one? I'm not, not really sure about that. Oh, I like that one with the jam on it. That's good. These are really lovely, Heather. Thank you so much. They're, oh, they're, they're gorgeous. And some more bank things. Perfect for ephemera for junk journals. So no, they're not useless junk at all. So I'm just going to put them all to one side. Now remember they're from Heather. Then I ordered, got something from Facebook Marketplace. Let's put the envelopes on the floor so we don't um, get a bit of a mess here. Let's put them all to one side. And I got these collectibles from Kaiser Craft. So they're, uh, I picked them up because I quite like the, um, the vintage look of the, the planes and things like that. Oh, they're, they're jacks for playing knuckle bones. I don't know if anybody actually plays knuckle bones anymore. It's a game I used to have. No end of trouble understanding when I was a little girl. When I was not a little girl, I was a girl in primary school. Um, like that, hot rod. So I don't really know the rules, and I don't even know if kids play it anymore. I think they play Pokemon instead. Yeah, so I got them because of the retro feel of them, some little things there. I got those. 
so thank you that was the, I bought these from I don't know if their Facebook marketplace exists in other countries but perfect place to grab some things that are on bit on sale actually I don't think I got this on Facebook marketplace kind of thing I think I got it on a pre-loved craft site so these have got some old stickers and I'm hoping I can from apothecary labels they are some little ones they'd be really great for collaging with and then I also got oh, I can see why she stuck them all down so they wouldn't get um, bunched up in her envelope and cause trouble for the mail that's fine and this is a, a book of different things I think from, from the description Perfect. Lots of little things you can use for ephemera. Oh, they tear them. They tear out. They all tear out. No, they would have to be cut, I think. Some different things. Lots of useful things you can put into journals. They're great. Glad I got those. It's funny that people, she's obviously used by something there. That's fine. I obviously couldn't use anything of the other, other things like now if I was a card maker just card making still because um, that's what I am basically as a card maker I started doing junk journals then I wouldn't be using I would find struggle to use some of these things they're lovely thank you that was that so I just don't want to say thank you because they're just lovely because I bought myself all right thank you that was wonderful and then the last package I got was from was from my Facebook marketplace. This one was, and these are washi tapes that I bought from this person. And I got all these washi tapes. What they cost me? Thirty-five dollars, which I thought was pretty good. That's Australian, which I thought was pretty good, um, pretty good value for money. And, uh, all packaged up nicely. Oh, I don't know if I take them all out, they'll get all get lost. But got some lovely patterns on them, different kinds of coffee beans on that one. Look like stamps on that one, coffee cups on that one, selection on that one. They're lovely. Because she had a whole heap to sell, I couldn't buy them all because I just I just couldn't afford them. But I just bought a selection, and they're lovely. There's some gorgeous ones here. Coffee. That's right, it's got some mushrooms on that one, and some fruit on that one, and some Victorian images there. And a mixture of things there that's just got a, a, a very pale pattern on that one. Cutlery one, possibly the one to use for the grandkids. That one. Some of them I can use myself, but some I just I don't mind actually with my grandkids using them. So there's some lovely ones there. They're lovely with the ferns and the writing on that one. I love that one. That's nice. And every fair with his fair doth rehearse, making a compliment, compliment, compliment of proud com compare with sun and moon. Okay, a big poem. Oh, I love the writing on that one. Lovely. Contour lines, yes. And some more. Different stick, some more washi tapes, lovely. She's put some other things in here. I only got asked for the washi tapes. She's, she put some other things in here. I'm not going to her. It's really nice. Really nice of her. Lovely washi tapes. Oh, look at that one. It's so gorgeous. Look at the colours. I don't want to undo them because it'll take me forever to do them up again. And I've still got some other things to show you. They're just lovely. Perfect for my... um. It's just really gorgeous. So she's given me this little parts of the Caribbean sticker as well. Some more washi tapes that way around. I think so, yeah, little labels. And these are little labels. These are little things as well. Lovely. And what else? Find somebody to put them all there. Oh, I love that with all the little butterflies. Oh, look at all the butterflies. Wow. They're beautiful. 
Oh, that's that now. That's different. Maps. Like an old banner. Which is beautiful too. I love the little coffee. She must have been a bit of a coffee fan. Lots of coffee things. Lovely leaves. More butterflies. Is that the same as the other one I had before? I have to look later. I'm going to sort them out a bit more. I like that with the writing on it. Green. And some houses. They were very whimsical. Some more of the lovely writing. Some more vintage type of things. Oh, I'm sorry. I probably went right off camera then. I beg your pardon. There's the writing one there. Some sailboats. And some other things that she put in the bag for me. What are these? Oh, these are stickers. Aren't they lovely? She had a whole, a whole heap of these stickers for sale as well. I just I looked at them all and I just looked at them and kept on looking at them. I thought, no, I can't manage, can't afford them all. So, thank you. That was so nice of the person who did that. Her name is Judith. Then a friend of mine said she had some old cards for me. So, um, I uh, met her to pick them up. So she lives in the country, so she was coming down to Adelaide to do some shopping Spotlight, so which is a store here that sells materials and craftware and things like that, and curtains and towels. So I met her outside there, and she said she had all these baby cards for me. Look at them, they're so old, and they're not card, they're paper. I wish I knew how old they were. Can't be 1851, really. Really, wow, I didn't know that. Oh, see, they just they can, you can just tell how old they are by how yellow they are, and the, and the pictures themselves. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna go through them quickly. I love this one. The colours on it. It's just look at that. Now that's a thicker card, but that one's definitely paper. Wish I had dates on these cards. They're beautiful. Must have been a thing because I've got a whole heap of them with all these uh, little ribbons on them. It must have been a thing back then. To put ribbons on cards. It's gorgeous. Look how they're gorgeous. They're so lovely. Um, yeah. Very glittery, that one. <laughs> Beautiful. Similar cards for the same. Yeah. Aren't they gorgeous? Just tell how old they are. Copyright USA, Canada, Australia. Beautiful. So, this person obviously got a lot of baby cards given to them when they had their baby, or they knew, because they're all written in them. Yeah, wow. I'm going to keep the writing in them and everything to be perfect for. Um, Journals. I'm not too sure if I could just put them in a normal journal or whether I'd have to make a family journal. I don't really know. If you have got any ideas, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. But that'd be wonderful about what kind of journal I could use these for. Whether I make a baby journal. It's just, it's definitely a girl one. So, if you have any ideas, help! <laughs> I'd love to know. Aren't they gorgeous? They are so gorgeous. Then they got she gave me all these um little notebook, little cards. So that's they're very bright, but I'm sure I could use them somehow. And then there's that these other ones which I quite like. These are lovely. These are pan they're pansies or pin petunias, petunias. They're lovely. Isn't that interesting that it opens up at the top? Because it surely wouldn't go that way. Have to go that way too, because cars usually. Why are they open at the top? That's, that's interesting. Came with a whole heap of, and she gave me all these envelopes as well. So I got grey ones, blue ones. That'd be helpful. And some loose cards. Card fronts really, I should say, because they just look so cute. This must have come from a book, because look, it's tabs. So whether I use them as they are 
or cover them over. I don't know either, but they're quite nice. They've got pictures on the they're quite nice. They're blank on the back, plenty of room to journal on. I quite like those. Because I keep them in like a retro kind of journal. And a lovely pick uh, art deco person. Just uh, the inside of a card. What else have I got? This one. This one. This one was, I think was must have been hand hand done. A lot of things. It's lovely too. I think that's all I've got to show you today. Thank you very much for joining me. Give me the thumbs up and make a comment. That'd be wonderful. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.